Logan, there you are. Why are you inside a flaming tree? Help. He's on fire. <laughs> Get I, the... I have seen the dark side. And it can talk. Pac-Man, I've been, been expecting, expecting you. you. Yiki, let Logan have this one. Okay, no, it's alright. It, it can be there. My brother, the golden, golden fruit tree, tree, has been hoarding those golden fruit for far too long. I can do about this. It's like an ethereal Spooky thing. He told me that you'd yeah, be you drinking be them with you. Wait, we're supposed to give this guy the tree? It's a vain yes. attempt to imprison him again. again. Oh, we're going to use this as the new... We'll like see the about new... that. I see. Uh-oh, we have to fight him? It seems that all of the others have underestimated you. Oh, dears. We're fired. I will not make the mistake, for I am the Wormwood, the evil tree of Ghost Island. And Pac-Man just walks away. No, wait, come back, I can't follow. No, wait. Uh, I may you should keep, keep you busy. busy long enough for Spooky to, to deal with all of Pac-Man's I mean, well, Pac And I will, I will spoil, spoil your golden fruit. Spooky, Spooky will be pleased. Oh, and meanwhile... Oh, man, this guy, for a tree, this guy has quite the vocabulary to him. Thank he you. He sure is a talker for our wormwood. Yeah, I was about to say, the whole thing, it's like... This maze will deal with you. Uh, Punk, I've been dealing with mazes for 20 years. <laughs> I Boy, think by this point, I... it's roughly around 22, but yeah. So, so I I'm see right those right. dots below there. Can you just jump? Pardon? Yeah, like he's the... saying if you could jump to, like, when we were one above this, if you could just jump down to reach to that one. Right, without I... having to... I think just... it might be possible, but honestly, I, it'd probably be best not to Whoa. try. Oh, 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 Did I forget to oh, mention no. that I have fenced off the correct path? Don't ask how I'm capable of doing it without hands. My fiendish fence. I bet some I bet some speedrunners oh, would like to have a few words with that, but I don't think I don't know if we can or not. But anyway, whoa. So yeah, the ghost <clears throat> by you is. Kind of a lengthy level, not gonna lie. Though it's also the final level in the game, so I can sort of um, I can sort of forgive the, give the length. Mm, that's fine. Is this level just like a giant circle? Um, kind of, sort of. I mean, granted, the dude's the dude's not lying in that it literally is a maze. Like, there's a, a lot maze, of twists and geez. turns to take into account. Yeah. Especially if you want to again, if you want to go for 100 percent completion, they spread this shit like Ooh. well Ooh. the dots I just spewed out, and there you go. Ah, uh -huh. yay. So, <clears throat> I guess now, yeah, I guess okay. now, I guess we, this is it. We are currently on the final approach to the end of all this. You know, um, it's, you know, on the one hand, I appreciate that Pac-Man himself sticks out like a double damn sore thumb against all this dark and green. At the same mm -hmm. time, a lot of the dark and green blend so well together, I'm kind of surprised you're able to make some of these platforms. Yeah, I, th I think some, I think the, I think the platforms I'm standing on, the very least, could have been a slightly different shape compared to all the muck. Which, yes, that muck is instant kill, so don't get, oh, don't jump in it. I mean, unless it's intended to kind of throw you off. Like, honestly, careful. now that I think about it, they could have just made, it, made, the, made the water look a little more acidic. Uh, I'll say, be careful, this plat this, this, these road, yeah. these bridges look really bumpy. And yeah, they're kind of narrow, roll. too. I see those yeah. dots are just floating there. I so suppose honestly, you're not supposed to get to them anymore. Though, to be fair, yeah. some of that bumpy rope could be used to speak, to actually jump to um, sequence break some of these portions. Oh, hmm. I see, like, like, ramp yourself up Super Monkey Ball style. Pretty much, yeah. I you know what? I know you can use Sonic Adventure as an example. You know, oh, it's yeah. funny you mentioned <clears throat> funny you mentioned Sonic Adventure because I just had this mindset of like, because we use the rev roll like sparingly throughout this game. I'm wondering like, it'd be neat if they gave us some levels that really let you take advantage of how much distance you can cover with it. You know, kind of like the levels in Adventure One. Because honestly, I feel like those would probably be better geared to Pac-Man than they would for Sonic. Gotta say, we just grabbed a bunch of fruit. <laughs> yep. Oh, um, so James, just kind of like putting this on average, how many of the arcade games do you think you unlocked throughout our little like you know non 100% playthrough here? I was able, I, I can tell, I can tell you right now that I was able to uh, unlock everything but Miss Pac-Man. Which you need all of them for? Mm -hmm. Or most, if not, I think most, if not all of them. <clears throat> I forget how many tokens there are in total, but yep. 180 is what you need to unlock Miss Pac-Man. I'm like, fuck that shit. That's highway robbery. You yeah. got like four. Yeah, you need like 40 more. <laughs> after that and point. meanwhile, like James is like, well, jokes on you. I have at least 20 other compilations that have Miss Pac-Man in it. So no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. What? Police. This is the year 2020. I could play this game on my iPod Nano. Probably nowadays. So that means. Uh, wait, you still have a Nano? 
No. Not yet. It's I had an iPod shuffle at some point. Oh, though. this part. I already made it past I my fix. Let's test your brawl. Test your brawl. If you don't defeat all of my skilled minions before the sands of time run out, your time will have truly run out. Oh, geez, he's the Lord of Death now? Pretty much, yeah, because look at that timer up there. It don't lie. If you run out of time, your your life is forfeit. Wow. Can we use our charge attack to ram into them? You could, but I feel like that's a little too risky. Nice. Just show wish, them your butt. <clears throat> I wish this had. I wish this, I wish this had Mario logic, and that with each one you chain together, you would get more points if you went from one to or the more other time. like this. And it seems that there are several copies of the enemy, so you don't have to worry about which path you take. Oh, it only yeah. looks. Oh, it only looks like we've well reached the limit. Yeah, because yeah, more than enough to take care of the task. I was about to say that tree. Yeah, so... I was about to say it helps that the timer's <clears> gone. <throat> Yes. Actually, wait, wait, let me re let me redo that. Suck on that, you sap. <gasps> also, geez, the straw distance is not helping much. Yeah, well, at least there at least there's enough swamp fog to sort of to sort of mask it. It's supposed to be a spooky swamp. Oh yeah, that's right. Which is ironically spookier than spooky swamp. I think if it was around here or another portion where I literally Ooh. do just sequence break this part this part. I can't wait right to there, see. Look, well, right there looked like you jumped over to another part of the level. Yeah. Or wait, no, this is back where we were before. Oh, oh wait a is minute. Is he doing it? Is he if doing we it? ramp off properly. Just nice. right. Yeah. Well done. And I got well, some tokens so... for the taken. Thank you, grab, grab the ledge mechanic. Grab the like, yeah, don't forget the button. So you just so you just walk off. If you just walk off a ledge slowly, you'll grab automatically? Um, I think you do need to t make a tw quick turn, but yeah, you do. You can do that. And yeah, we're pretty much... A, we're pretty much... I think we've literally just sequenced Whoa. broke a good portion of the level. So Holy yeah. crap, look at all these extra lives and tokens yeah. and shit. This, yeah, this is definitely the get ready for a boss section. Yeah, I was about to get yeah. ready for the final stage of the game. They, they expect you to suck hard at this next part. Well, let's see how bad it can be. I mean, why do we have to fight a tree? The Hello, hey. worm tree. Ah, ah, man. You, you have defeated, defeated my, my maze, cheater! <laughs> it, it seems, seems that, that I know, I know much for you. you. Yeah, then, then the flames grow weak. Wait. Spooky. Wait, what? Avenge okay. me! Oh, jeez, spooky. My, my tree. tree! I'll let James be that guy because he had okay, the me voice. Pac-Man, what have you done? Do be fair, they tried to kill me. How could you have defeated the heart of Ghost Island? In my defense, it's going to blow up. I mean, all of Pac-Man will pay. In my defense, why did you set the tree on fire? Your precious tree will be nothing but broken branches when I'm done with it. This seems like really poor thought. Okay, whoa. Okay, so here we are. I guess final boss, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Wait, where's, wait, or not? That? That's oh, it. Okay. Oh, he, he was patient. He's gonna wait for us in the next stage. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll, I will give you a moment to save your game. I can wait. So wait, the tree just snuff out or something? Yeah, he just no, died. The, the tree just yeah, the tree died. We okay. literally killed the tree in a Pac-Man game. And How we did? We just we approached. It was like, oh no, I'm allergic we, to Pac-Man. We, we we killed him with his own with his own <gasps> sense of defeat. Oh, oh no. no, fire! Back at our own pack village. Why am I standing in the smoke? <laughs> that, that, it would be funny if, like, you just started accumulating Ooh. suit all around your body while you stand there. Siege. Okay. So yeah, yeah we've like come it. back home and we're gonna put the fruit back in its rightful but place. Maybe we should wait until we defeat it, Spooky. Because otherwise, he just yeah. So it doesn't door. just take them back. Five. That's a very good point. But uh, Pac-Man's the sort the sort that doesn't think about think about the aftermath. So uh, <laughs> and uh, in doing so, we've suddenly turned it to. Golden, Golden. Pac-Man! Oh my goodness! With Twenty-four the power to stop the Lord of all evil. I just noticed his emblem is a dead Pac-Man. And I will admit this 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 bit right here is actually pretty epic. Oh, oh boy! Whoa, 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 whoa. Like they literally pull oh. straight up. Oh no! Um, like, uh, Paranorman. That was Paranorman, and this reminds me of Duck. Uh, uh, admittedly, this reminds me of the Ducktales movie. When he, oh, yeah. yeah, when, the when guy he takes Scrooge's money vault and pay, pretty much turns it into a fortress in the sky. Yeah. yeah so yeah. yeah, here's the final boss, Pac-Man. Oh geez, look at his emblem on his chest. Your golden fruit can save you now. <laughs> Dang, it's a dead. Nobody can break through my iron concentration. I love that this is. Oh, 
Now taste the might of my meteor shower! I love that that is this world's equivalent of a skull being on his chest. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Just a de it's just a, it's just a, it's just a life loss. It's the original Pac-Man. He's wearing him on his chest. Whoa, Actually, well, I just <gasps> caveman. So oh, yeah. I'm just gonna say this out right as far as the boss fight is concerned. Even though we're clearly shiny, solid gold, it doesn't change jack and shit. We still control the same. Though when it comes to Spooky, um, his pattern is pretty much this. For the first few hits, he's just gonna shoot out whatever spell he feels like. After a while, he'll he'll send out a mook, and after that, he's gonna charge up a super special attack. Now, when he does, now when he start when he does, tries doing that, Ooh. that's when he's most vulnerable. So that's when you should kick him. Okay. For a second, I thought those treasure chests in the background were just random blenders. Blenders. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can, just, like, oh, I can see. Around. I can see because they're kind of cylindrical. And I, I yeah. can definitely say, unless he starts stepping this up into different phases, this easily seems far more manageable than the lava boss. Oh, I will definitely, I will definitely say this much. Spooky oh boy. Can is definitely one of the harder bosses in the game. Not as much as Clyde, though, thankfully. But still, one wrong move and you will get fucking wrecked. Oh no, not some fireballs as opposed Whoa. to meteors. Well, no, it's just, it's just more spells. Oh, health, 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 health. It's the same spell, just colored differently. It's the same it's spell, the just grape oh, flavored. Honestly, these seem so fast that I think the main, I think what they mean for you to do is maybe use your charge move to quickly like sprint out of the way. Just or... wait till it. Well, honestly, wait till it brings out the red fireballs. Oh, that shit's kind of weak. That shit's the most. Whoa. Oh, what? Wait, real quick. What if we go behind the tree? Uh, I think I think the magical phase through the tree. Oh, well, that's as if the tree isn't there to begin with. Other well, than that's that, perfectly oh, just... logical. Uh, other than that, what I can see being the hard part yeah, is there that, you oh, jeez, they went on the So, all you're doing during this fight is just running into Spooky. Basically, Ooh. my my best advice for this, this this fight is to zigzag as much as possible. And definitely well, just don't running stop in. for anything. Yeah, just don't stop for anything. Right. You just have to give him a big old hug. Mm -hmm. It's, it's This is definitely a fight where, you're, where your athleticism is going to be your greatest ally. ENOUGH! You will never <laughs> defeat me if you are in a daze! Wait, is he going to give us the dizzies? Say goodbye to Pac-Man! Pac-Man! What? And he still does the same exact thing as he was yeah, before. Yeah, exactly. Other, honestly, at this point, it's pretty much the same shit you've come to, come to expect this time. Uh, at uh, this uh, point. You know well, no, like, he's doing the same thing all three phases. You know what I would have loved for this final phase, especially when you're talking about the days or whatever about that is, I would have loved if everything suddenly became a top-down perspective and you were kind of playing like <laughs> a hybrid of a Pac-Man maze, trying to dodge him while getting the super pellets. I mean, arguably, those trails of fire work the same way as the uh, ghosts. Yeah. I don't well, know. I mean, they're a little more aggressive, I'll say. And In I fact, if Spooky's are, the king of these. I will admit there are certain cases where he'll bring out, a, bring out an enemy that... Honestly, are a bigger a bigger nuisance than than others, like the Re Reveral Rams, for example. Oh jeez! Oh, that's nice. Trying to deal with that shit while Spooky's pelting you with his fireballs. Right, and uh -huh. the only way to and the only way to defeat them is to charge into them, which requires you to stop in motion, which we don't want. We don't have the time to be doing that right now. One yeah, more hit no, to do have, it. The only time we have is to kick, kick him, kick Spooky's tail. Okay, well, okay. Yeah, one more hit. Oh, uh -huh. I am I am Gobsmack. This is the final boss of the game. This. I mean, all things considered, it's. Whatever we can say about the ghost, he's not a pushover, so, don't, so, what? Don't, so don't, um, don't get too cocky. I think, yeah, but I, I think the set piece was fine. It definitely felt, it felt like, as it felt like a oh, good ending. It wasn't so... Oh, oh yes, he will. Oh, boy. We need subtitles for this. Yeah. yeah, I'll agree to that. This show needs subtitles. Not even with us talking, that filter is just a little tricky. Yeah. But hey. And with that, the day has been saved. Pac-Land is back as it were. That's it? And the people feel safe enough to come out and congratulate our hero. Because they've been hiding. They're all just the same guy in different hats and mustaches. Yeah, I was about to say, they're all just like pac member with like hats and... You know what, as stupid as it was, I will give Ghostly Adventures credit. They at least tried to make the NPCs what look What the hell is old. that? It's, it's a dog. Pack up. Uh oh. Well, chomp, chomp. that's what he would like, but Chomp Chomp's about to, well, make sure they never free him again. Oh. 
Those weren't pack pellets, though. I mean, uh, power pellets. Those were oh, regular kind of kibble. Were. He's the guard dog. <laughs> oh, that was a game. Yeah, no, again, again, it was for... Considering what they had to work with, hey. considering it was... Ooh. Oh. Aww. He oh, saved some for us. Oh, so, yeah, I mean, considering what they had to work with, considering it was Pac-Man, I think they did a pretty decent job with a little 3D platformer. I'll agree to that. Then again, for a sequel, this... like It definitely... Hmm. No, the, the, the sequel definitely, I think, built up more than what the first one had. Because the first one just looks dated. This... Hmm. I think so. I think they up the stakes. A fair, I think they up the stakes a fair amount. I, I and they're just reusing the title screen here. And now Pac-Man's gonna go fishing. <laughs> See, so yeah, I'll say so, okay, real quick. I'll get my thoughts. I'd like. I thought this was fun. I thought I, I remember having. I remember some having some good memories of at least playing the first half of this game, but I never got around to fully beat Nick. Cause I almost always got distracted by another game. Uh, I always got. I I always never got past the volcano. Music's pretty good though. All right, that's it for me. Yeah. So uh, this was a game. Yeah, hey, what did you <laughs> think? I mean, I will, I will say, like, I sort of took a gamble with this one because, like, as far as three D platformers concerned, it's a solid one, but it's also probably the most rudimentary, for lack of a better word. Like, it's there's not that much to really make it stand up, stand out compared to stuff like, say, Mario or Sonic. Hell, even Crash Bandicoot to some degree. Like, Pac Man is a pretty safe. Like, Pac Man World Two, and I guess to some extent World One, are very safe platformers. But even so, like. I guess what what holds true? Don't break what is don't don't break what isn't broken or don't fix what's not broken. Don't, like, don't break yeah. that Honestly, again. Honestly, just but, yeah. that being said, I can kind of understand and agree with this sentiment. Like just because it just because it's not breaking any new ground doesn't mean it still can't be a fun game to play through. Right, right. And, so, and I do think this is a fun game to play despite the the occasional bullshit parts. I um. I mean, I, I agree with that. I, I think what they had here was a pretty solid like idea. And I think there was, and honestly, like especially with like all the arcade titles that you could technically unlock, they definitely gave, they definitely added more bang for your buck with this title. Gave you shit to do beyond just collecting the usual fruits. Right. So, what did you think of? Um, what did you? What did you think of this? Like, as a successor to the first one, did you? Do you think it was? Do you think it was a step forward, step back? I would say. In a, for the most part, it was a step forward because, like, it definitely was not more than just a typical, t like, a, like a two point five D game pretending to be a three D platformer, and Village. like, it definitely fixed a lot of problems with the first game, and I would argue in some cases it definitely enhanced them. Pac Man, you have defeated oh, Spooky and saved all of Pac Land. So where are those things outside the gate? The ghosts are still out there. Pellets. We'll make sure they don't steal the golden fruit again. Thank goodness. How? Thanks again, Pac-Man. By actually having a working night watch. All of Pac-Land is in your debt. Hooray. And, yeah. I, I I'm pretty sure this entire game was up. just a mental journey for Pac-Man to overcome. Did he? Uh, <laughs> he had we, to uh, overcome his personal demons. No, exactly. I mean, speak again. She's, she pretty much says nothing more than the usual. Yeah. And actually, I should, I, we should have brought this up earlier, but... Uh, you may have noticed that Celie hasn't been able to join us for the past couple parts. She's yeah. got she's got a life to live and college to attend to, and all and that we stuff. And we, and we honestly didn't think that this was worth like you know having her stress over. Are we? Uh, are yeah. we going to do the third? Are we going to do the sequel? I'll consider. I'll definitely consider doing a look at of the third game, but I'm not sure if I'm willing to take the time to just fully complete it. Because honestly, whatever dialogue there is aside for the for the game, it feels. I don't know. It feels. It feels a little more hollow compared to this game, which is saying That's something, considering, considering, again, this is a very rudimentary platformer. Oh, yeah, we never did beat that one. Or that, that one. Yeah. We never did. Like, I, I mean, I was I was close, but there's just some things that just aren't meant to be unlocked. Oh, Are there any cheat codes in this game? What was that? Are, Are there, there any cheat codes, codes in this game? I don't actually... I don't think there are. Hmm. Okay. This might have been around the time where they started time slowing down. the emulator. Uh, yeah, I figure why not, since, like, um, this is, I figure I'll show off at least one game from the arcade, especially one that, well, is actually a much different version from the, uh, version of Pack Attack we showed off way back when. Right. Because it it's a lot more flashy. I can, I'll say, but, well, then again, I do like this. I like the idea, I always like it when a game lets you play, like, retro stuff as an additional thing. 
such oh, as def- this, Donkey Kong to an extent. And, it, it, uh, it feels like it, fe- it feels like a very it feels like a very nice reason for you to go go after all the shit to to actually unlock it. Assuming, of course, it's within reasonability. Like, let's not make it a case where you have to get all A ranks in Sonic Adventure 2 just to unlock Green Hill Zone as a level. Oh shit, is this Puyo Puyo? Um, sort of. So, Pack Attack is pretty much an arcade game where the main gimmick is that you've got blocks and you've got ghosts, and um, every once in a while you can also unleash Pac-Man to eat the ghosts and gain more points. Okay, but how do you get rid of the terrain? Um, pretty much same same way you would, would in a game like Tetris. Uh, stack them all in the line. Huh. So the idea is so that it's wanna... Tetris, Puyo Puyo, and its own Pac-Man thing. Pretty much, yeah. That's honestly yeah. kind of cool. So yeah, it's all um, I will say, as far as this, this version is concerned, um, the, the version of Pack Attack used for Pac-Man World 2 is actually from a Japan-only anthology collection called Manko Anthology 2, which basically... It was mostly like a like like a series of remakes and like pseudo sequels to some of their past arcade and console titles. Like I remember one of the games featured was actually a remake. It was actually a sequel of a game called um, Legend of Valkyrie, mm-hmm. which is an interesting game in of itself. I'd actually like to show off the first one for the channel. Wasn't that one? Uh-huh. Wait, wasn't that one of the uh, franchises they put onto a shifty look as like a uh, webcomic? I- I don't think I don't think they were it was part of shit you look. I I know um Dig Dug and Clano were definitely part of it, as well as Bravo Man. Oh yeah. I remember so there was some kind of Valkyrie based webcomic. I wouldn't be surprised if there was, but honestly, like, I can't even count all the all the stuff that they tried to revitalize with that project. And I'm still very sad that Nanko pulled the plug on it and took mm. all their, took all the stuff created for it with them. Um brief moment. Not to mention they abs- like how they left the Clano webcomic in a complete uh, oh, construction man. Oh, yeah, and there's this. Pac-Man, the repairs are finally complete. Enjoy your tour of the museum. Oh, snap. Yeah. Wait, how do we uh-huh. unlock the museum? You have to get 150 tokens. All and... the tokens? Yeah. Ooh, well, not all the tokens, cool. just all, 150 of them. That's like 30 less than how much it takes for this Pac-Man. Yeah, it's a, it's essentially just a concept concept art reel. Oh, hmm. Stuff that could have been in the game, but was scrapped for one reason or another. I love Animal. this kind of shit. I almost wish what they would have done is if what they like the had a, hell is it's that? A, it's an enemy. I almost wish that they. I almost wish they had something where they had like an actual museum with pick, kind of like what Shantae did. Oh yeah, actual, that I think would have been a little more. Well, it would have definitely have been a little more classy instead of just a typical flash reel. Right. Oh, the lava throwers and. Ew, I love how shamelessly PowerPoint presentation this is. Yeah, it's like. And uh, here we have our... They even have different transitions. No, like, the even even the transitions are that. Yeah, like yeah. that there. Oh, it's my God. It's all compiled out of Windows Movie Maker. I just That's what I'm saying. This Whoa! Feels like this was, oh, this feels Early like this was CG. done on, like, one of the last two days of development. Yeah. Probably. Mm-hmm. Wow. Still, it is interesting to see concept art for this game in general, because mm-hmm. not... It, it was all... I only discovered... Like, it wasn't until recently I disco- discovered all the stuff that was actually in this thing in the first place. Like, the fact there was going to be that really toothy-looking snow... Mo- uh, Yeti abominable thing. snowman thing. Right, that thing looks mm. so creepy. Or a and giant uh, snake, or the fact that pac Land looked a little... Was supposed to look a little more... Whoa. pac um, was, was supposed to look honestly, really cool. Honestly... Ooh. Honestly, I look at the uh, architecture and these. Um, the architecture and the concept um, art gives me guy. a lot of. Oh, the architecture and the concept art, you know, for like the buildings and whatnot, gives me a lot of Seuss vibes, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Dr. Seuss? Seuss. Actually. They're spooky. Mm. Uh, again, I thought this was a fun little good thing to look at. I don't think I personally am going to pick up this game, or I don't think I'm personally going to go out of my way to, you know, play more, play any of it again. That's fair. Oh my but god! It's a it's a hockey wolf. One of no, wolf. like how poly it is that would be terrible. Hey, oh. Oh. there's the staff staff that made all this possible, and that's yeah. it. Thank you. But yeah, I appreciate you showing off this game because I probably wouldn't have played it. Sure, yeah. That's pretty much it for our commentary on Pac-Man World Two. I mean, again, for those that wa- like. Say if you want another 3D platformer, you don't know what to pick next. I'd say this one wouldn't be a bad one to look over, especially if you have any sort of attachment towards Pac-Man himself. And there is a possibility, a theory, that we may get to see this in a big collection, maybe one day. Maybe someday. 
not all, and hopefully it's true and not a load of bull dust as I expect it to probably be, but uh, only time will tell. This is Pac-Man's 40th after all. We gotta expect, there has to be something big planned for him at some right. point. Right, yeah. And not just some really random music video that just sort of archives the arcade sound effects again. What about oh, yeah. a Pac-Man ASMR? Okay, I'm already, I'm okay, I'm already uncomfortable. On that <laughs> note, folks, we hope you all enjoyed for what it was worth. And um, again, I will definitely look into doing a look at of the third game at some point or another, even if my total indifference towards it aside. And well, until next time, I'm James May Extreme. I'm Lucky Jack Twenty. I'm Mickey. This is a wrench. <gasps> See you guys. Not the hammer, I need the wrench! But Claw, 